Hi Pisces, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Angel Oracle mid-month reading for November 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing and subscribing to these videos. I truly am blessed. I love all your positive comments that you come in with every month these videos go out. So I want to thank you and know that I am truly, truly blessed and I give grace and gratitude for that. So I'm doing things a little bit different here. Um, you will see me when I do my monthlies, but this way here I thought I would give you a different spread, something that I've learned and I rather like it. So I think you will too and most people have been coming back giving me positive feedback on this mid-month reading. So let's get on with it, my beautiful Pisces, my mermen and my mermaids. So let's see what the overall energy is for you. The overall energy they're showing me is that you have been given uh, a fire card. And fire cards have to do with the wand suit, okay, in the regular tarot. And this particular uh, king of fire tells me, you know, that you're going to be able to focus on a situation. Um, this is all about your self-development and a situation that maybe you've been dealing with, an event or something you've been dealing with, or the general energy around you that's going on. And you're going to be able to do this because you have leadership qualities. It shows me that you, you're going to be able to step forward and do this. Uh, you may already be doing this right now, but you have to really focus on this event or this situation for it to come to fruition. I do see you're going to be getting some advice from someone who's very creative as well. And they're going to help you with this. They're going to help you with uh, uh, this endeavor that you're working on. So the all of our energy is I see you're going to be getting help from someone, advice from someone, and they're going to be guiding you uh, throughout uh, the, the mid-month of, of November. So let's see um, what is in your mind. Let's see what you're thinking about. Well, you've got the three of air. And it tells me that some of you are worried. You're worried about a situation. It may have to do with a legal issue. It may have to do with uh, dealing with people around you that you've uh, you know, either had a falling out with or you've had to deal with and you've had to walk away from, or maybe you've been being judged, uh, you know, wrongfully, and there's been some hurt feelings, because I do see that this has brought on some sadness for some of you, and it's all about you taking time now to heal, okay, you need to heal through this, and, um, and how you do that is, you know, with forgiveness, forgiveness of yourself and forgiveness of others, in order to move forward on your path, so some of you may have been dealing with actual court and lawyers and legal issues, and others you may have been dealing with people that have come in and judged judged you uh, inappropriately and you've had to stand up and defend yourself. So um, I know this is what's on your mind. Um, it shows me that some of you are quite uh, concerned about this and you've been thinking about this and you're not, you're feeling quite sad about it. Let's see uh, what you're working towards, okay? Well, <laughs> you're working towards success. Beautiful card, okay? The wheel represents you want this over with, okay? You want this done. You want to be able to move forward, and the wheel talks about that. Completion and the full circle being done and moving on in a new direction, and it's time for positive change. So this is what you're working towards. You want this positive change to come in, and this is an excellent card that says it's, it can come in. Okay, so you need to take time to heal through this, but you're going to get help with this situation. Someone's going to help you through it. So I do see that it's going, you're, this situation is going to move forward, and things are going to improve tremendously. You can't get much better than the wheel here. This is an amazing positive card of, you know, endings and new beginnings that are going to be for the better. Now, let's see what's going to benefit you. Well, I see that, you know, you've got a relationship card. There's people around you that are going to help you. I do see that maybe there's going to be people, um, you know, from way back in your childhood, they're going to step forward. You've got some very close friends that have been around you for a very long time. I do see that maybe uh, there may be issues with children that you're going to have to deal with as well, because this does talk about dealing with children in your life, uh, situations uh, that are going to come up that are going to require you to step up and, and handle any situations that have to do with children. But I also see this as a card where there will be people from your past that are going to step up and say, you know, I understand this, I can help you with this situation. So it may have to do with the children in your life around you that you're going to deal with that these other friends from the past are going to step up and help you with. Now, what future opportunities are in this mid-month? Well, you've been given the Ace of Air again, and I see that, you know, there's this is your second Air card where you've been dealing with challenges. But this one tells me 
that you're going to be able to see the truth in a situation now. And it is the ace, and aces are the beginnings of all things. So things, uh, you know, in the beginning it may be a bit challenging when this, uh, this uh, information about truthfulness comes in. Um, but you're going to be able to handle it because along with this truthfulness, it's going to bring in new inspiration, new ideas. Things are going to help you move forward on your path with this situation. But in the beginning, because it is the ace, it could be a little bit challenging uh, when, this, when you see the truth in a situation. But I do see that you have people here and people here that are going to help you, okay? Because you're working towards this happiness. And, and believe me, it shows that when, you, when the wheel shows up, it, when in these challenging situations and the wheel shows up what you're working towards, keep the faith because you've got help here that's going to come in and help you deal with these situations. Okay, so let's see, um, you know, how you're feeling about this. Let's see how you're feeling about this, okay? Well, you know what? You've got the three of earth and earth has to do with, you know, with money and it has to do with the material part of our lives, but it also has to do with our families, our closest circle, the people around us in our tribe. So I do see that this talks about money. This, whatever this endeavor that you're working towards, some of you, it may have to do with work. Uh, I, some of you, it may have to do with your work. And, I, and this has come up too where in other signs as well, where you're going to get recognition for the high quality work that you put out there. So, and it's because you work well with people. It's because you have the ability to listen and, and step back and work great as a team player. So I do see some of you, um, you know, I do see some of you are working towards a better, uh, a better job, uh, more money and the abundance in that. And I do see it's coming into you. I do see that you're going to be getting recognition for what you do. And it could come in the form of money. Okay. All right. Let's see um, what the advice from the tarot, what the universe is telling you. So you've been given a fire card. And this talks about you standing up for yourself. This talks about you defending yourself. This talks about you speaking your truth and not being afraid. Look at her. She's on this great big, beautiful, uh, you know, ferocious looking, um, what is it? Oh, it's a dragon. I love dragons. And you know what? She's moving forward. She's not afraid, okay? So don't be afraid. This is all about moving forward and defending your beliefs and your decisions and standing your ground for what you stand for, okay? If it has to do with this job, well, you're showing everybody what you know, your business and how to do it right. Choose your battles wisely, though. When you're coming up against any opposition or anybody wanting you to uh, to question your integrity and uh, in, and what you're doing, stand up for yourself. Okay, stand up for your beliefs, but pick your battles wisely. Don't you know? Let the little nitpicking incidents get to you. Uh, you're going to be able to do this. So, okay, let's see what your hopes and fears are. Well. I do see you've been given a water card, and this has to do with making a complex decision. And yeah, it can be a relationship, and it may be a decision that you have to make up that concerns people around you in your life. And it, you need to do your research before you make this decision, but I do see that you're going to be able to do it. I see there's other people around you that are you're involved in. There may be three main people. Uh, there could be a couple more in the background, but you're also the brightest star here, so you're going to be able to do it. Stop procrastinating. Don't be afraid to make this decision, okay? But make sure you know all your information before you step up, okay, and do it. So, But I do see that it can work out for you because you're the brightest star there. You have the resources to do it. Now, let's see what your results are. Well, <laughs> there's your air card again. And this is all about things looking up. This is all about the end of that situation. This is all about things improving in your life. So these other air cards that you had here, okay, um, these other two air cards that, you know, and that caused you a bit of unhappiness and a bit of um, challenge here uh, for the mid-month of November, know now that the results are going to work out in your favor. Things are going to look up, and it will be the end of that difficult situation, okay? And I see some of you, this came up for others too, and I really, really shuffle my cards. It's amazing the same energy that's flowing through mid-month for a lot of people in November. So what I see is things are looking up, and some of you may want to actually go on a holiday, and some of you may be going on a trip. It could be for business, okay? Um, but it can also be because you need to get away, and you just want to you just want to relax and take a deep breath and say, ah, oh, I'm so glad this is over, and I'm going to do that. I do see some of you going over a large body of water, perhaps. Some of you are actually going on a cruise. Now, let's see what your messages from your guides, angels, and the universe are. And this is the Ascended Masters deck that's going to tie in this reading. You, you guys have seen me use this deck before. I love this deck. And let's see what the information came in and the messages from them are. 
Well, you've been given come out of the closet. So I always kind of laugh at this card because it has so many meanings to it. And basically way, the way I look at it is you need to stand up, okay? This is what it talked about, standing up for your own beliefs, okay? Defending yourself, being true to who you are, okay? That's what this was about here, okay? Being true to who you are, okay? And it'll work out in your favor, all right? So don't, don't hide yourself. Don't hide who you are. Be true. The minute we free ourselves and we let ourselves out, as they say, let ourselves out to be truthfully who we are, that's where we find our, our best success, the most abundance, our happiness, our peace. So you can do this. Stand up and defend yourself, okay? Be true to who you are. Don't ever stand back and say, well, you know, no, okay? This is, this is who you have to be. So great message for some of you. Be true to yourself. It's great. You've got the wheel here, which means, and you've got the help from other people here. Yeah, you've had a few challenges here that brought sadness, but you've got help here to get you through it. And at the end of the day, it's going to end. You're going to see the end of it, and you're going to be happy again. So, great reading. I hope it was great for you as well. I wish you an, a, a, a beautiful remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic month of November to look forward to. See you again in December, Pisces, and know that I continue, my friends, to stand in that circle of light for you.